Hey everybody, welcome to episode two of the World's Strongest Baker. My name is Ryan, I am the World's Strongest Baker because nobody told me I'm not. So, this recipe today is from Paul Hollywood's A Baker's Life. We are making marzipan apples heart. You might notice that in the video my beard is longer. That's because during editing I realized my other camera decided to shut off. So, we are filming this after the bake is done. It is my first time making frangipan. It's my first time making marzipan. And you have to pay attention and see what happens when I'm trying to do both. Enjoy the video. I'll see you after. Okay. First thing we're going to do is take our almond flour. We are going to add our granulated sugar and our icing sugar or confectioner sugar. Don't mind the change in the lighting. The cloud just went by the window. I'm gonna use a whisk to combine these two real quick. So let's just give it a nice little whisk. I'm gonna check that apparently I've never opened. I mean, we can fast forward this or we can just laugh at the fact that I call myself a world's strongest baker and I can't open up plastic. All right, now that embarrassment is over. We're gonna add a couple drops of our almond extract. So I'm gonna do a do an eighth of a teaspoon. I don't think it tastes too much like almonds. Okay, that might have been a little bit more than I was supposed to add. But, we'll find out. <laughs> Ooh. So, best thing to use when baking is fresh. Fresh ingredients, best way to go. But, my wife has a lot of lemon juice in the fridge, so we're going to use that. We are going to use that. Let's do this over the sink. Boom, one. That's why we do it over the sink. Boom, two, all right. Save the recipe. And go clean up. Scoot back on over, all righty. Last but not least, unless I completely missed something. Boom, two medium eggs. Yolks, two medium egg yolks. Now, this is the most expensive thing right now in this recipe. I don't know if y'all have heard what's going on. There's an egg shortage. First there was a chicken shortage, now there's an egg shortage. Brings up that lovely question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? And yeah, I, I got nothing funny for that only inappropriate. So we're gonna start mixing this in. The book does say this is going to be very dry and I can already tell this is gonna be very dry. Is it sticking to my hand like crazy? Yes. Do I, do I think I did something wrong? Always. Did I do something wrong? I don't know. But it is getting that lovely color that I have seen on Mars. Ooh, look at that. It came together in a dope. Oh yeah. We look like we know what we're doing. We look like we know what we're doing. All right. I'm gonna give my hands a quick rinse right here. So I said a light dusting of icing sugar onto your work surface. Dusting. And don't worry, wifey, you know me. I will clean that up when I'm done with it. 
And look at that. I could have used that to sip the almond flour, but no. I didn't think about it. We're gonna need this to form a smooth paste. I got really big hands. I'm used to dealing with bigger batches of stuff. My question is, how smooth of a paste can you get with almond flour? There we go. That's actually looking really good. A little bit of clean film here. That's the mention of it. All right, it doesn't say how to shape it. When you put it in the fridge, it says put it in the fridge and chill. For 30 minutes. So, first we need to preheat our oven to 375. This is, the book is centimeters. It is grams and it is Celsius. It's called for 190 Celsius, little research, that's 374, so we're going 375. Because old oven, I can't preheat it to either Celsius or 174. But my secret for taking care of the butter is parchment paper. No tear weight. How about that? Right. So frangipan is an almond cream. An almond cream that this is a French style, so it's more like a creme pat or creme patisserie. Don't hate me for my bad accents, okay? Took three Sweet. All right. Butter and sugar together. All right. So, got to definitely soften butter in here. Let's get this going. All right, that's a demonstration of what not to do. All right, what not to do. Now, funny thing is, you don't need to use a sand mixer. You can use a spoon, a whisk, spatula. Just get in there, get it going. I'm going to use both because I'm a weirdo. Whatever. All right. 
And it looks a little fluffy to me. That's three eggs. That's like thirty dollars right there on the market, man. But you always have a napkin around. Clean off the hands. This is not sped up, by the way. All right. I am trying to be as exact as possible. So I'm gonna be smart this time. I'm gonna sift this in. It doesn't say to sift it in, but honestly, what I've realized from this recipe so far is you can't be too careful. Let me get the big chunks, you just get your hand in there, throw it around. Boom. Um, all right. Now, get that out of the way so you can see what the hell I'm doing. I'm just gonna keep using the whisk. Look at that. And since I sifted it, no lumps. Together as easy as one, two, three. Boom. Frangie pan done. All right. Ooh. Get to get out my favorite thing. My rolling pin. I love this thing. Regular rolling pin. It's same size all the way down. I don't like the tapered ones. I don't like the ones with the handles. That's me. If you want to do that, do you. But I am not a fan of that. So, I will not be doing that. But we need more icing sugar. I like to, this is actually something I got from watching Paul Hollywood do his stuff. That started going in the right direction. Cause you know how hard it is to roll a perfect circle. And I want this to look as close to that as possible. Cause that just looks flipping awesome, man. I think we're actually almost there. So I went a little big. So, let's smush this in here. And 
So mar marzipan is nice and moldable. They actually do just make candies that are straight marzipan. They shape them and they paint them. A lot of them look like fruits and stuff like that. You know what? I'm gonna take it. That looks awesome. All right, so let's get a baking sheet out. Oh, that's gonna fit perfect. All right. All right, we're gonna start with one, see how much we get. They say three millimeters, three millimeter slices. I am actually using a Gala Apple. It calls for a one large or two medium eating apples. I'm gonna say this is large because I can't fully get my hand around it. I got big hands. But in the picture, it has red skin, so I didn't wanna go with the green, uh, green Granny Smith apple. So I went with something I knew it was gonna be somewhat firm. So. All right. My little trick. Nice little wedge up. if you need to shave it down a little bit more. I need to uh, sharpen my knives. That's what I need to do. I have three different methods for sharpening knives and I don't use any of them. And one of them was a, a birthday gift because I really wanted it. I got a whetstone. W-H-E-T. Whetstone. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna sharpen everything. I haven't sharpened a single thing with that. All right. Am I a professional? No. Do I have some nice skills? Yes. I shuffled a long time ago. Gave me tips on how to do this when I was working in a quote-unquote restaurant at a grocery store. He was uh, classically trained in French cooking. Can't remember his name for the life of me. I'm sure there's going to be people out there that will be like, What are you doing? You're going to cut your head off. Yeah, well, if I do, you can say I told you so. This is how I cut. I got big hands. It's hard to maneuver. For me. And that's why we almost cut our hands off. And I, when I'm not injured, like I am right now, I work out a lot. So I get a lot of caffeine and stuff in my system. I love pre-workout. I think we are going to have enough apples with just this one. Sweet. I can do some peanut butter with that one. Peanut butter and apples. Look at me trying to pretend like I'm healthy. It actually is one of my things I need to work on. I really, really need to work on eating healthy. So I decided to make a YouTube on baking. And yeah, I know you can make baking healthy, but it's not as much fun. I know how to do vegan baking because my wife is vegan. So I thought it'd be a fun challenge. I learned how to do it. Got our marzipan right here. Marzipan looks good. 
Fridge pan. Coming in hot. God, that looks incredible. Now, I'm using all of it. So let's use all of it. So we're using all of it, bro. Got me, bro. Brotato chip. Broski with the doskies. Broski with the dosa keys. All right. I don't want to have to dirty of this, but we are going to. Fun, funny thing about this recipe is I'm a okay fan of almonds. I'm okay fan. Not like a huge fan. So I'm actually going to take these out. And all right, just got this out of the oven. That fringe pan did run. I'm not mad. Uh, it has a nice golden ring around it, and it definitely did rise up. So, this is our apricot jam and water. We heated it to combine, then push it through a sieve. So, all we have to do now is Make the tart even more beautiful by just brushing this on top. So this is not only gonna add an extra layer of flavor, this is also gonna make it look sexy. Make it look all kinds of delicious. So apparently all you have to do if you really suck at decorating is just throw some jam on top. Don't take that as me actually meaning it. I'm just having fun, guys. But yeah. Make it look pretty. Boom, 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 boom. All right. That's done. Uh, we are going to let this cool down a little bit. I'm going to transfer it onto a plate. I'm going to get out of my real men bake apron. And then we are going to... Talk about the experience. All right, guys. That was Marzipan Apple Tart from Paul Hollywood's cookbook, A Baker's Life. Does it look perfect? No, but it looks and smells delicious. I love the golden brown rim we got going on here. The apples look nice and tender. I'm excited to sink my teeth into this. I highly recommend this cookbook. It's easy to follow recipes. They got some great tips in there for you. I'll put a link in the description below. So right now, let's go ahead and cut this up. I said earlier, I don't know how this is gonna serve four to six. I can easily see now how this will serve four to six. That's actually not a bad slice. So, should I be using a fork? Maybe. Uh, it says you can also put some creme fresh on here if you want to do that, but you know, it holds up nicely. Nice golden color on the bottom. You can't really see that through my big hands, but ooh, here we go. Mm. Okay, okay. So, get that almond flavor. You use a bunch of almond, punches you right in the face, but not in a bad way. It tastes incredible. A little sticky, but that's going to be the Mars Band. It is basically a paste. Um, it looks like I baked it all the way. I actually put had it in for an extra two minutes. So, apples held up fantastic. I thought they were going to be a little mushy. No, there's a nice little crunch in there. But I had, yeah, whoa, love this. I'm not doing the cookie raiding anymore. That seemed weird when I was editing the last video. 
I don't know why I kept it in, but for this one, we are definitely not doing the cooking. I just say easy recipe to follow, delicious outcome. Go ahead and remember to hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you like it. Give me that thumbs up. If you really hate it, give me a thumbs down, but give me a reason why so I know what's changed. Or if you just want to be mean, be mean. But you do you, and I'm going to finish this piece, and I'll see you in the kitchen.